Hey, it's me, Fiora, and welcome back to Protato. Uh, I was just playing this, kind of like doing warm-up runs, and then I just got really bored because it wasn't going so well. I just, just skipped out of there and decided that I'm going to start recording and just start doing this uh, from the beginning. Last time I did a run as um, engineer, and I was 20 seconds away from beating danger level 2. I really just want to try that again. But I, at the same time, I kind of feel like I, uh, you know, maybe I should try something else for a change. Um, I'm gonna try this one. I have literally no idea if this is any good as a character or not. Just wax them with an explosive. <laughs> it's hilarious. Alright, so um I need to get lots of explosives. Explosive stuff. Anything that explodes, that is really good. HB regeneration, sure. I'm taking turret immediately, also explosives. Um this is Probably not exactly. The most explosive weapon, but its fire is pretty close to exploding. So maybe it's a good thing. Grenade launcher. That could be a really good gun for this dude. Or missile launcher, whichever it is. Max HP? Yeah, sure, I'm taking it. Um, can I see my character somewhere? Uh, plus 157 explosion damage. An explosion size for every elemental damage. So I have to take elemental damage a lot. Uh, minus 100% damage generally so no point taking basic guns uh, only elemental damage I guess armor modifications are reduced 50% so dodging maybe is dodging an armor modification I don't know mm, I'm taking speed at this point taking this one taking this one and um Unlocking these guys. I mean my damage is minus hundred, so it doesn't matter if I lose a couple points more I just I have a feeling that I don't know how to play this character and This might not be the best run of all times but it's really interesting to just try different things, different approaches, something new. Something might surprise me. Let's combine these guys. This is ethereal, it's basically melee damage, so no. Uh, yes. I'm just gonna roll with this, I guess. I don't have a lot of money, I need more harvesting as well. So many things I need. How huge can the explosions be if you get your elemental damage really up high? That remains to be seen really curious like can I get explosions big enough to cover the whole screen because that would be so cool and taking the dodge taking the HP regeneration taking absolutely medical turret dynamite yes and then I'm out of money again I hope it's twice a grid I guess I have no idea This 
kind of reminds me of that explosive dude. Except that instead of straight running into enemies, I'm supposed to kind of dodge them and, you know, just whack them with explosives. Because that makes sense. I mean, if I get that missile launcher or whatever, that would start making a lot more sense of all this. Okay, more explosive damage, trees, more lamps, pick a branch, yes. Uh, sure, I'm taking it. The next next turn, I still don't have six weapons, so in that sense, I'm not doing very well. Also, like two of my weapons are bands that um, do fire damage, which is not the thing I am known for. I also need to take more elemental damage. I really, really need to upgrade that. Uh, I wonder if it's better, you know, in builds like this where the character is, you know, kind of like one trick dude. Oh no, elemental damage. Should I get anything else or just elemental damage? Or should I just try to get a little bit this and that? Like dodge and a little bit HP, a little bit regeneration, a little bit this and that. I don't know, I still don't know. I've been playing this game for some time now and I still have freaking no idea. I'm taking speed. Speed is always good, I think. Uh, 40 harvesting, sure. You know, whatever. Good range. Oh, I'm so out of money. Okay, but now I got a lot more harvesting, so I should have... I should get a lot more money, so I should be able to buy a lot more stuff. Which is always nice. It's funny that... Um, maybe it past two years or so, there has been a lot more research that money actually makes people happy. Like, what a surprise! Money makes people happy. Who would have thunk? I think a lot of people, if they won a lottery jackpot and they got like millions, sure, they still would have worries. There would still be bad days and there would still be hardship and there would be new challenges, like maybe people just wanting all your money, but you would be a little bit more lucky and happier than you would be. You know, if you were peace poor, because being peace poor is not fun. Taking dodge. No, wait, I need to get elemental damage, so can I please get that one? Uh, there it is, thank you. Plank 2. Also sword. <laughs> you just got one take the sword. Damage 1. <laughs> Spear sausage, yes. Um... Take a look, yeah, the band is horrible for me. Actually, it does also one damage or four point damage. But I haven't seen the explosives. I, my store sucks, I'm a wave eight and I still have just four explosives, which is kind of, you know, supposed to be my freaking main gun. My main weapon. And I'm not getting them in the store. So I have to be running around with freaking wizard sticks that do nothing just waving them like um orchestrating a disaster here freaking corypheus oi 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 i just don't feel like i'm gonna see tomorrow <laughs> if tomorrow never comes oh boy Please heal me. Please heal me faster. HP regeneration. Heck yeah. Cyber ball. Yes. Come on. Give me explosives, dude. Hitting an enemy spawns a lightning projectile that bounces one time and deals one fire damage. Um, forward generation minus five percent damage. Great. Yo, I get fist, I get medical gun, I get laser gun, I get 
slingshot, but I do not get explosives. How am I supposed to run an explosive run if I don't get explosives? Mom, the story's bullying me. There is something very satisfying though. With this explosive thing. I don't really like it. It's like boom. There is a huge hole. Where there used to be enemies. Not the big ones, though. They are very resistant to my explosive charms. I have a pretty good amount of money right now, so I'm really happy about that. Don't you dare to die right now. Just make it to the very end. I don't want engineering. Should I take life steal? I don't know. Attack speed, maybe. Dodge, max HP, dodge, max HP. I'm taking. I'm taking uh, HP. Okay, explosive, knockback. Oh, there it is. Freaking, there it is. Finally. Nope. Recycling these dudes. Taking a blank. And, um. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Nope. That was it. No more explosives to you, mister. I'm so bad. Somehow very kind of hypnotic, sort of meditative, you just run around here. I don't know, it's super relaxing, it's like a mindfulness thing. It's kind of like screensaver for your mind. I don't know. really like this game oh no 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 <laughs> stay away from me for two seconds longer oh my god oh that was so bad more dodge three yes more yes Okay, now we're now we talking, I just need to survive a tiny bit longer. Also, I would need elemental damage just to get bigger explosive area. But it's really, really hard to get it because I really need also HP regeneration, I need dodge, I need speed, I need HP, I need just everything. Take a look, it's pretty crowded here. This is not yet the horde, by the way, I think it's next turn. So, um, I can't even, sometimes I can't even tell where I am. Like, I'm, this is so crowded. I don't know where my character literally is. There is too much thing going on. No, 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 no. I think no. Oh, man, that was bad. That's bad. Okay, that wasn't my thing, I guess. 100 range with precise weapons, 25% attack speed, you start with knife. 30% dodge and engineering range. Um, maybe I try. Maybe I try. I mean, it's Danger level 2 is no joke. My engineer run just made it look so easy. 
I was basically level 20, I was just standing there and I didn't need to worry until very suddenly I didn't need to worry and then I was tiny microsecond too late to move and I died. So um, I'm gonna be wanting to take armor I guess. HP regeneration is always good, this is always good. So I need to precise weapons, I guess this is one. Oh now you give me explosive. Shuriken is precise. I'm a ninja. This is a ninja mission. I'm real freaking white wolf. Sekiro, Sekiro. Pretty good range, I gotta say. Hmm, dodge. No way, my dodge is minus. Not dodge. Armor. Just a tiny bit armor. Um. Don't want any of this primitive. It's not precise weapon. I don't probably have like explosions, but maybe if I get a turret that does explosions, probably won't get a turret. Probably don't really need that. It's a waste of good 26 bits. So better save it. Buy something nice, like maybe a lemonade. Or a very scarce sausage, I don't know. Maybe I should start to really think more about things that I'm buying so that they support my run instead of just blindly buying everything. This is the same thing, you know, I struggle in Slate Aspire, I just freaking buy everything because, you know, it's there, I gotta have it. Is it worth taking explosion damage or not? Probably not. I'm gonna unlock it and I'm gonna let it go. Really high attack speed could be really nice. You know, you just go like ta 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 ta. However, if you have like one million enemies in there. Not even that speed is going to be enough. This seems easy. Then again, I'm on wave 4. Max HP, yes. Knife, precise. Range, attack speed, minus 2 life steal. I'm taking it. I'm not taking it because I can't afford it. I'm taking it next time and then I have to get that life steal back to zero or on like plus five or whatever plus 50 you can always hope for oops I want stuff. Give me stuff, trees. Mmm. Melee damage, right? Or more attack speed. Or HP regeneration. Uh, attack speed is always good on taking it. Where is that? This is precise, but I think it's more like ranged anyway. Land of mines. Yes. Yes. Crit chance minus three percent damage. I don't want to go like minus damage, not even like three points. I am already kind of panicking over that minus two in life still. Because if I get really, really fast skills with my knives, life still could be a really good skill for me. But if I get it really low, like under zero, 
then it's gonna take way too much time and effort to get it back up and get it on the positives where it starts to actually matter. I just straight ran into that. Yippee-i. The speed is pretty freaking nice. Ooh. So I'm taking the life steal. And I'm taking the armor. Yes, yes. Uh, no. I should have maybe taken that. Life minus two. Yes. Now I have a little bit. Oh, my life steal is zero. Great. I don't have even a little bit of life steal. I was thinking I do, but I don't. I fooled myself. Take a look at this speed of attack. Dun, 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 dun. Is there gonna be horde on wave 12 again? That's been a trend lately. It used to be elite on wave 11, but then it changed. And then it was horde on wave 11, and then it got into horde on wave 12. You know. It's not always the same thing. Don't get used to it. One day it's gonna be all very different. I'm gonna sneeze in a second. Sure again. Why? Oh, because it's ranged. And not actually like... I would have to have like, oh, everything is minus. Oh, bummer. Oh, it's level three shuriken. I guess I need to get my um, me melee and range damage up if I can. Show me my character. Range with precise weapon attack speed. But that's like some extra strong dude. Had armor and everything. Be No 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 <laughs> I'm starting to struggle. This is the point. They wait every single time. Um Max HP up, sure. I really need to get that damage. Oh, zero money. Great. <laughs> Great! I was thinking like, could you beat this game on especially danger level 2 with just, you know, not being able to do a lot of damage, but just running fast enough so that the enemy don't catch you. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm just kind of feeling like it probably is not possible because there is just so much enemies that eventually if they just keep spawning and you don't kill anyone, uh, there is not going to be space to run anywhere because the screen is going to be filled with dudes trying to murder you. But it would be interesting because this is starting to sort of a little bit seem like that type of a run where I should just try to get away from the enemies because my damage multipliers are so bad. 
taking melee damage because I use melee weapons so much more. This one has dealt a lot of damage. Um, I'm recycling this one and I'm taking a stick. I can't believe that, but I'm doing it. It's not even a precise weapon, obviously. Knife tree. Yes. Minus seven attack speed. My attack speed is 55, so I'm taking it. I'm not taking it. <laughs> I don't have money. Vigilante ring is crazy good it's a special relic special relic you know some people they are so freaking lucky when they play games um in slate aspire yes still talking about that game for example some people they just get the best relics all the time ice cream and stuff every single freaking time whatever they need they get it oh i need parigade oh here you go you get it upgraded <laughs> immediately i'm like i'm struggling i'm struggling to get anything that i usually need so i'm really happy to see such a valuable relic basically in there in the store because it's rare occurrence i get my stinks usually get the worst stuff ever like curses and things if i need weapons i never see them no yes so i guess i take hp regeneration i was gonna take range damage but um i'm taking basic damage i guess and um, this one heck yeah this one yeah sure and now I have range damage is minus 8, elemental damage is minus 1. My range is 45, which is pretty good. Um, plant. Eee, sure. White flag every single freaking time I see it is, is my kind of jam. Yes, I do need knife too as well. Mouse, life steal, and I'm oh, tempers and more enemies. Freaky. Don't need that kind of negativity in my life, honestly. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stay away from that type of things. Thank you very much for the offer. Like I said, I usually get these type of curses and stuff. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm struggling. I still kind of feel like my best bet to win the danger oh my gosh danger level two is really kind of lucky engineer run like the title run with engineer where i get a lot of turrets and i get a lot of turret related relics and i get good stats without requiring to do tons of re um re-rolls This is insane. I have high attack speed, but it's nowhere close enough to survive. Like I said, eventually there is going to be so many enemies, you know, you can't just force your way through them. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Taking it. Okay, so this is... No, wait, that... Previous wave was the horde wave. This time it wasn't wave 12, it was wave 11. I think. That's why there was so many enemies. Then again, this is not very different from what it was. You know, pro tip, do not walk straight into the enemies, not with this guy. Oh, 
I thought I had like 12 seconds more to go, but it was like, this is wave 12. Max HP, more armor. I'm taking more armor. Medical turret immediately, yes. 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 More trees means more... Um, healing stuff. I still have like level 1 scissors. And we are wave 30. That is ridiculous. I should have like level 3 weapons right now. <laughs> Those slowly flying projectiles, they're just the creepiest thing ever. They really mess up with my mind. Like, I kind of see them there, but then my mind just blanks out. Like, they don't exist because they're so slow and then I just... I really have to pay extra attention not to just straight walk into them because they're going so slow. At least there is pretty much step root right now. So pretty good amount of healing. Nope. Freak, nope. Mm, show me my primary skills. Luck is 10. Ah, for three. Nah, not really. I would like to get like... Please show me my primary skills. I would love to get more speed. My speed is zero currently, which is horribly bad. More scissors, yes, finally. Dynamite, sure, I'm taking it. I don't know if I need it. Doesn't matter if it's a TV. It's not. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. You know, it's just maybe, maybe this game is so relaxing because while your brain is struggling to, you know, create dodge patterns to avoid those red balls of doom, you don't have time to worry about anything. Everything else just disappears from your mind. Uh, more melee damage, uh, more life steal. I'm taking more life steal just to have it like above zero. And I'm taking this, I'm taking this, I can't have it because I'm poor. Take more luck, I guess. Uh, yeah, I can afford another stick. Great, I'm still running with a stick though. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that. Not until now. My weapon choice is not necessarily the best. There is nothing wrong with stick. I should probably try to play wilding again because I did really pretty good with that when I played it the first time. So maybe I should give it a try again. Okay, now there is kind of like too much stuff going on in my screen once again. I have sometimes difficulties to even see where I am. I would kind of hope that my character would be like bright red or something so that I would know like, oh, I'm here. Oh my gosh, I can't even... Oh, make it end. <laughs> that was horrible. Half the time I didn't know where I was. Um, HP regeneration, I guess. More sticks, I can't have them. Eye surgery? No. Scissors? Yes. Scissors are currently one of my highest and my lowest stuff. Let's 
trench book. Mm. Shuriken. I'm interested in this, but maybe later. If I survive to maybe later time. I don't want to cap my health just yet. Although I don't know how much more am I getting health. I like to think that I could get a couple more points. Whenever, you know, I would have to cap something like I can't have more of that, it really just very much scares me because what if I want to have more or I need to have more or I get really good opportunity to like get like 20 points more and then I can't have it because I got myself out of the option. Just... Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Oh my gosh, I, I'm not I'm not running fast enough. Oh my gosh. I need more speed. My speed was zero. <laughs> Mental note always get more speed. Okay, that wasn't very good, but I did get level 16 or raid 16, so you know that's pretty nice. Um, I might want to try this wildling character. Except that you can't equip weapons above tier 3. But this could be very interesting on danger level 2 with lots of lifesteal and like five, uh, 6 sticks. Because the sticks are gonna boost each other. So I think I'm gonna try that next time. And I'm gonna end this episode right here. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this, please click the like button. It really helps me out a lot. And next time is Wildling. I see you there. Bye.